Alrighty, hey everyone, how's it going? It's Roman the Quant here, and uh, nice, nice to finally see everybody, or for, for everybody to see me at least. Today what I'd like to do is sort of talk about the library that I've been building out for the past couple months or so. Uh, I'm a quantitative research intern right now at Bloomberg, and I've been building out this library to assist in providing just a bunch of different utilities for quantitative research, mainly for equity alpha research and theoretical pricing research. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start on my GitHub here and, and let's dive right in. So let's just go ahead and navigate on over to QFIN. That's what the library is called. It stands for Quantitative Finance. Uh, back at college, I was a Quantitative Finance and, and Mathematics double major and we always referred to the program as QFIN. So paying a little homage to, uh, to the old QFIN program there. Uh, and then if you wanna go ahead and install this, this is persisted on PyPy. So all you gotta do is run a pip install QFIN and then all the other dependencies will be installed along with this library. Now this is a working library, so there are some features that are yet to be released, uh, mainly surrounding the bond pricing, futures pricing, uh, swaps and, and such for theoretical pricing. And then for the equity alpha research, I am in the process of packaging the web scraper and natural language processing models for uh, generating financial sentiment. So, so that'll be released shortly and that's, the main driver for my equity alpha research at least is in the realm of natural language processing. So I'm very excited to share that uh, with this library and I'm very excited to release that in the next version. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the modules that I have already publicly available. So for starters, we have Black Scholes pricing. This is based on Black and Scholes, shockingly enough, from their 1973 paper, their closed form solution to European call and put pricing based on an underlying stochastic process, geometric Brownian motion, which we will actually go ahead and talk about in a moment. But for now, yes, we have uh, Black-Scholes pricing, so you can go ahead and instantiate a Black-Scholes call or a Black-Scholes put, provide the five parameters, and then you will end up with your appropriate price. Along with these prices, you can generate the Greeks to determine how the options value will change with respect to some of these inputs. So you have your delta, which is sensitivity to underlying asset price, gamma, which is the second order sensitivity to underlying asset price. Then you have your vega, which is the sensitivity to underlying volatility changes. Uh, and then your theta, which is sensitivity with respect to time to maturity. Uh, now, as far as stochastic processes go, I also offer two stochastic processes with uh, more to come. I'm working on a uh, extension of the stochastic volatility model. I'm going to be working on the Bates and Merton, and they're, they're essentially more uh, complicated stochastic volatility models. So for now, we have geometric Brownian motion and a stochastic variance process offered by Heston in 1993. Uh, essentially, the only difference between these two, and you know, there, there are more complicated differences, but if, if you're relatively new to stochastic processes and, and you're only familiar with geometric Brownian motion, then the extension to a stochastic variance process is that instead of one Wiener term, there are two. So volatility in the model is also a function of uh, randomness. So we have these two stochastic processes and these are gonna be used to aid as pretty much the engine to pricing exotic options. So in terms of exotic options, Monte Carlo simulations are gonna be using those two stochastic processes as the primary driver of price. And if you take a look, it's, it's relatively straightforward to price exotic options and, and even vanilla options as a baseline example. So you can see the convergence to a Black-Scholes price under the right parameter set. Uh, all you gotta do is import the option you're looking to price via Monte Carlo simulation from the simulations module. Currently, I support vanilla options, binary options, barrier options, Asian options, and extendable options. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a whole bunch more as well as, uh, as time goes on. This next release though is going to be more oriented towards natural language processing and alpha research, uh, as I had mentioned earlier but it's very straightforward to go ahead and actually price these options. So all you gotta do is import the appropriate option, and then you provide parameters based on the underlying stochastic process that you'd like to use to model the price after. So what I mean by that is if I only provide geometric Brownian motion parameters, 
then the Monte Carlo is going to automatically use that as the stochastic process that drives the price. If I provide more parameters beyond geometric Brownian motion, that is the Heston model parameters, then it's going to be using that as the underlying stochastic process to drive the price. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to my library and, and the first time that I was able to see everybody or uh, like I said, everybody can see me. I just wanted to touch on if you're unfamiliar with any of the topics that I had discussed today, I do have a lot of other repositories kind of walking through uh, everything that I discussed from theoretical pricing to Monte Carlo pricing um, with accompanying articles on Medium that go, goes ahead and ex explains line by line everything that's going on. So. If you're unfamiliar with any of these topics, feel free to check those out. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. Um, but, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'm excited to, uh, to continue, um, continue building out that library, and I'm very excited to uh, continue that, that other series that I had started on quantitative finance. So uh, thanks, and, and take care.